La 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 la. What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Sound Attack once again. And today I'm going to show you guys how I improved my hash rate and profitability on Caspa for NVIDIA GPUs right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. I recently launched a crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com and it includes nine steps to cover when you decide to start your crypto mining journey. This is specifically pertaining to 2023 crypto mining profits and taking advantage of the down market to achieve skyrocketing growth as we move into the next halving of Bitcoin. You'll learn buying mining equipment in a bear market, using outside investment to speculative mine, begin mining once profit is established, sell mine crypto to pay for electricity, Hold and prep for the bull run, sell at the top of the bull market, sell mining equipment at the top of the bull market, and begin investing in land and power so that you can bring in outside investors to utilize excess resources. Thanks everybody for your support, and I hope you enjoy the course. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Welcome back. So, as you guys know, most of my how-tos on mining Caspa have included utilizing BZ Miner, primarily because it was the only miner that allowed me to mine directly to my node without a stratum. However, on my node, I have added a stratum from one more B Smith on GitHub, which I'll leave a link to down below. And that allows me to begin mining with other applications, including LOL miner. And in one of the more recent releases of LOL miner, I have begun testing and found that I am getting much better efficiency numbers and higher hash rates out of LOL Miner than out of BZ Miner. So to kind of give you guys an overview, we'll start out with some 1660 Supers. On the 1660 Supers right now, we're getting around 250 mega hash a second at around 62 watts to 70 watts, somewhere between there. It really depends on which card and how efficient they are. The memory overclock is negative 1004 and the power level is 80. However, with in the actual flight sheet itself, I did set the core clock to 1500 and the power level to 90. So really I should go in and change the power level. This is over overtaking essentially everything else. Where did I get those numbers from? Well, like we talked about in yesterday's video, I got those numbers for the modifications there from the hashrate.no. So that's where we got those numbers from. That being said, what we ended up with here overall, you know, is essentially three giga hash a second at 972 watts. And that in comparison to what we were getting before, which was 194 to 100 or to 200 mega hash a second at around 50 to 60 watts, where we are sitting total rig 2.3 giga hash a second at 828 watts. Alrighty, so there you go. 1660 supers, we are getting more hash rate, but what's really impressive is the RTX 3070 rig. On the RTX 3070 rig, we are now doing 461 mega hash a second at 62 watts. The flight sheet that we're utilizing for overclock sets the core offset plus 300, the core clock to a locked 1305, and the memory clock to 810 with a power level at 150. That results in the entire rig doing 5.534 giga hash a second at 934 watts. If we go ahead and calculate that out with a 0% pool fee, because we're running our own node, then we are at 0.6 or 64 cents a day on that rig. If we compare that to what it was getting before, which is around 408 mega hash a second per card at 60 watts, using 880 watts for a total of 4.9 giga hash a second, it's not as good. We can calculate that out here. And you'll see here we're earning about 20% more or 20 cents more, excuse me, than we were utilizing before. Now, things get even more interesting, of course, on the RTX 3090 rig. Here you can see we're utilizing about 2.8 giga hash a second or getting 2.8 giga hash a second at 657 watts. Now on our RTX 3090 GPU or rig, excuse me, we're getting... 3.13 giga hash a second at 679 watts. So much more efficiency, 783 mega hash a second per card. Now for this overclocking on the flight sheet, we are doing a core offset of 390, a core clock of 1260 and a memory core clock lock of 810 megahertz a second at a power level 
of 300. Really, it suffice to say on RTX 3000 series cards, there are many, many benefits to moving to the latest LOL miner over BZ miner. If you want to learn to set up your own node, please check out my node guide and full solo mining guide for Caspa, which we also have a written version of on my Substack. We also do additional content like this over on sonofatech.locals and don't forget to check out sonofatech.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.